So in this tutorial guys, I'm going to show you how you can use Unity to do a web request to download images into your scene, which could be useful for if you're um, creating maybe um, avatars or such for your uh, for your users or whatever. Whatever the case is guys, stick around. I'm going to show you how to do this um, if you're complete beginners or uh, if you just don't know how to do it, <laughs> obviously. So stay tuned. See you in the tutorial. All right, so to get us started, I've already designed a little bit off this scene uh, to save time. And in my canvas, I simply have an image, which is the, the main image here where I'm going to populate the one that we download from the web. An input field, input URL that we're gonna use to populate the image, and then a button. I've also added this main, this game manager script to the main camera, and here it is. And you can see if I hop right into it, it's just a, what, what I would call a blank <laughs> script. But uh, obviously there's stuff in there. And these are the default uh, snippets. So um, in theory, it's, it's, it's still blank. <laughs> All right, so first thing we're gonna need guys is we're gonna need references to these two objects, the image and the input field. We need reference to those inside of our script. So let's go ahead and do that um, because these are uis i need to be using the unity engine dot ui next i'm able to go right here and now create a public reference to a image and this image i will call this my profile pick um, next i will create a public reference now to the input field and I will call this my uh, underscore uh, URL okay so um, keep in mind that this channel caters to folks of all ages and all and of all skill set and of all you know experience so it might be new to unity so I just kind of wanted to show you this part now for those those of you that you know you already know how to do this uh, feel free to skip ahead, but after creating those references and saving the script, don't forget to hit save, we'll then see the public reference here in the inspector. So with that, I like to connect these references to these actual game objects. So the image is going to be my profile pick, and URL will be the input field. Done deal. Now for the button click, let's create an event, something that will happen when we click the button. I'm going to get rid of these functions and create one myself. It's gonna be a public function. It's a public void. Uh, I'm going to just call it button click. <coughs> All right, button click, done deal. And I'm gonna save. Head back to Unity once more to kind of show you how you would hook this up with your button. So with your button, you scroll down in the inspector and you have your on click. Go ahead and click the add. And then here where it says none object, you want to find the object that has a script on it. So my main camera. And then in here I can then find the script, which is called game manager. And because my function is public, I can now here find my function, which is button click. So in theory, whenever I click this button, it will access the object, access the script, and fire off the function. So now this function will run when I click the script and I have reference to my object in my scene. I am ready to start some web requests. That's right, boys. So if you're new to this, um, you need to create a certain type of function, which is an I enumerator. Nine enumerator types of function would allow you to wait for something to download. It allows you to wait, period. So whenever you need to be able to wait for a certain task, you may need an I enumerator. I'm gonna call this I enumerator function, um, get image, can't spell, image, from 
web. That's what I'm going to call it. And then I'm going to also just create a quick little parameter here for the URL. And I'll just put X as a representation of the URL. And then the body of the function, and I'm ready. You can see how the function has a red underline and it's yelling at us right now because it's 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 a function that requires you to have some sort of yield which is the weight that I was talking about so unless there is some sort of yield inside here it's going to be yelling at you for some time all right let's start now by creating our request to download an image from the UI from the URL that's gonna be given from this input field Okay, when we send it to this function, it's just going to be represented as X. Let's, re let's keep that in mind. Let's remember that. So to download an image from the internet, we need to access the Unity, um, what's it called? Unity Web Requests. And let's just call this um, rec for a request. And we'll set it to, so we create a variable type Unity web request, we called it rep, rec, then we're gonna set it to Unity web request texture dot get texture, and then we have to give it the URL of the, the URI of the texture we want, which URL is basically the same thing, it's just that the URI usually has the HTT, HTTP. <coughs> HTTPS in front of it, um, and that's that. So X will then become the request to get a texture from the internet, and that being stored into Rec. Next, guys, it's time to wait until that download happens. So we're gonna say yield, return, and then we'll type the name of the variable Rec dot send request. This right here, and you can see here. This is how you wait, in a sense, you wait for that request to come back. There is also a is done, which returns after the web request has finished communicating with the server and it's read only. So that's also um, an option. In some cases might be the better option, but I'm gonna go ahead with this for right now. You can see how the function is no longer yelling at me because we have the wait in place. After that, we simply gotta check to see if we return some sort of error. So we'll say reg dot uh, is network error, or like this, let me say reg dot uh, HTTP error. So in case we have internet issues or link issues. So in case the uh, request we're trying to make the URL is a bad one we can then just do a debug.log and log out the error message easy peasy all right so stay with me now otherwise we will vote for Trump <laughs> I'm just kidding <laughs> gotcha Otherwise, um, if we did not have any error, we're clearly going to have success. So let's take the texture and let's create a 2D texture type. And we'll just call this IMG for image and set it to, and what we're gonna do here is basically um, download the information that we receive from, from the web into our texture. So we'll say downloader manager or download handler texture. And what you do here is just put rec dot um, download handler, right? Stay with me. And comma dot texture. Just like that. So what's happening here is open and close parentheses right here, which allows it to download 
and communicate with the download uh, information that was downloaded and extract the texture place it into a 2d texture image keep in mind that this image this profile image is a sprite so if we change this or try to change it see go back to none it's it's actually a sprite so we can't put a 2d image as a sprite so in this case we'll simply create one so let's store this into the profile image so profile pick dot sprite because that's what it is equal and at this point we were going to create a sprite so sprite dot create and open and close parentheses and now we just have to create the sprite the first thing it needs according to the IntelliSense is a 2d texture you can see now exactly why I made this a 2d texture let's go ahead give it IMG which is a 2d texture comma and then it needs a rect but we're gonna create a new one new rect open and close parentheses inside here uh, we're gonna pass in a couple of dimensions we'll say zero um, and not a zero so zero comma zero for the X and Y and now the width the width here let's just try something random like 400 by 400 then finally outside of that we need to give it the vector and for the vector we're gonna go with vector 2 dot uh, zero because it's a 2d image uh, there's no vector 2 there's no other um, there's no other values needed it's just the vector 2 so a little comma there was missing to fix that and that's it guys for this part this is all set so when we click the button all we got to do now is call this function and the way you call an i numerator is with a start it was a start <laughs> is with a start quarantine i'm sorry i had a, a stupid joke for that because a lot of us are in quarantine right now so we're starting that quarantine get it i'm sure you got it sure you got it so you just got to put start quarantine and then get image from web the name of the function along with the parameters so open and close parentheses and of course my parameter was not blank i needed the url that i'm sending to it at that point i will send this right so this is the input uh, field and I want to send the text from that input field so underscore URL dot text and with that we are good to go so I'll save this I'll head back to unity I'm also gonna pop up pop open my uh, web browser I'll bring it over and uh, You gotta love some Sailor Moon. Why not? The Sailor Moon image. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm gonna type PNG or you know whatever image format. I'm just gonna grab one, copy uh, in my image address. I'm just gonna try it in a different tab to make sure it works properly. And there it is. It works. So I have this image URL. Back to my. Um, game here. If I hit play, and you hear it says enter image URL. I enter that. I'm gonna hit update now. Boom, there she is. So you can see that um, she didn't really show up fully. And what you would do here is that we're, we've downloaded in this dimension, okay? Or, or it hasn't been downloaded in that dimension. I'm creating a sprite from the image with this dimension. So what that means is that I am basically cutting the image into this size. So when this happens, all you gotta do is increase these dimensions by um, what you think is fair. So if I only had about this much of her feet, I'm thinking that that was about, yeah, I need three, three times the 400 going up, three times the 400 that way. So um, I'm going to do a 12 by about 12 and see if I have her um, actually fit in here at this point. 
I'll stop the code, hit play again, and drop it in there. Boom. Hit update. Wait in. Um, could not create sprite from. <laughs> All right, so this is a good thing. Uh, the 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 image size I put was bigger than the actual image size. So you could always just you know see what the name the size is. You can go into your inspection. Uh, if you have Chrome and see what the actual size of the image is inside this code here, we can see what the width and uh, height is. Or uh, if you type something ridiculous like I just did, I will actually give you an idea of what it should be. So 900 by 824. I can do that. So we're going to put 900 by 824. Now we should actually have a better result. Thank you, Unity. Um, I'll go ahead and run it one more time. If we get the size right this one. Boom. We're in it. And we're looking great. Sailor Moon, everybody. <laughs> Alright, guys. So much, so much. Thank you for tuning in, checking this out. Hopefully it helped you, which meant, uh, which meant that I did my job. And I'm happy to help you. Uh, and the way that you can thank us or thank me is simply by hitting the subscribe button. I'm trying to hit that 1K. I'm trying to hit that 1K, girls and boys. Anyways, um, stay safe out there with everything that's going on. Stay safe. I enjoy your programming. Um, you know, just focus on that. Stay safe. And remember, we're all one people. I'll catch you in the next one.